President Trump is hitting the United Nations right where it hurts, in the wallet. The U.S. is taking almost $300 million away from its annual donation to the world body, which last week condemned the administration's decision to move the American embassy in Israel. Correspondent David Lee Miller has details tonight from New York. The United Nations has agreed to a budget cutback following negotiations with the U.S. President Trump, a U.N. critic, has repeatedly said the world organization is mismanaged. While the United Nations on a regular budget has increased by 140 percent and its staff has more than doubled since 2000, we are not seeing the results in line with this investment. U.S. U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley says the U.N. core budget of $5.4 billion will be reduced by $285 million, about 5 percent. No specifics on how the money in the new budget would be saved, but a statement from the U.S. U.N. mission said, quote, in addition to these significant cost savings, we reduced the U.N.'s bloated management and support functions, bolstered support for key U.S. priorities throughout the world, and instilled more discipline and accountability throughout the U.N. system. The U.S. is by far the largest contributor to the U.N. budget, paying 22 percent, $610 million this year. That's more than double the next largest contributor, Japan, followed by China, Germany and France. Thirty-one of the poorest member states pay one one-hundredth of a percent, about $28,000 a year. The budget-cutting announcement follows a vote in the U.N. General Assembly rejecting President Trump's decision to recognize Jerusalem as Israel's capital. Ambassador Haley underscored the lopsided contributions following the U.N. General Assembly vote against the U.S. When we make generous contributions to the U.N., we also have a legitimate expectation that our goodwill is recognized and respected. When a nation is singled out for attack in this organization, that nation is disrespected. What's more, that nation is asked to pay for the privilege of being disrespected. The latest United Nations budget reduction follows another U.N. budget cut that was urged by the U.S. The U.N. peacekeeping mission, which has separate funding, slashed its $8 billion budget by $600 million. Washington still picks up the largest portion of the peacekeeping tab of $2 billion a year. Doug? David Lee Miller in New York tonight.